Welcome back to my Splunk's Inputs tutorial series. This is video five in the series, and today I'm going to show you how to use Splunk's link list. And no need to worry, we won't be traversing through any link list today. All right, let's get started. So fun fact, prior to making this video, I'd never used the link list input. I never really found a need for it, but after learning how it works and seeing it in action, I like it and I see why people use it. It's, uh, we can compare the link list uh, to Splunk's radio inputs, but, um, to Splunk's radio inputs in the sense that you only select one value. For example, I can only select male or I can only select female or all. And I like it because it's much cleaner. For example, if you were to use the radio buttons, what you would have is one column with three rows and it would look something like this. And I don't like that because it makes the, lo the dashboard longer than what it actually needs to be versus the link list where it's one row, three columns, and it looks much cleaner. And just so you can see it in action, this is how it works. Nice. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, delete it so we can start from scratch. And I'm going to save and refresh. If you're new to the series, I'm going to explain these queries uh, really quickly. So throughout the whole series, we've been using the gender token for input. So you can see here that this query is waiting for uh, the gender token value. So gender is equal to the gender token value, which we will be giving to it via the link list input. So these two uh, searches or queries are waiting for that. So we're going to supply it. We're going to go to add input, link list. We're going to hit the edit bar here, or the edit button, and we're going to uh, give it a label name. We're going to call it gender. And we're going to give it a token name of gender since it's, what's, since it's what we've been using. Now we're going to scroll down here to static options and we're going to supply it with female and the value of that will be female. Next will be male and we'll be giving it a value of male. And finally, we'll be giving it a name of all and a value of asterisk. Now we'll hit apply. So sometimes Splunk does this so um, where it doesn't apply the uh, label name at the first try. So uh, very easy fix, just retype it, hit apply right after. Nice. And we're going to save and refresh the dashboard now. And you can see here that it already grabbed the female option and it's listing all female. Let's do male, all male, and all, so regardless of gender. So we'll get mixed values here, male and female. Now, today I showed you how to use Splunk's link list input. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.